Have you ever stopped to wonder how the gas that fuels your car or the oil that heats your home is extracted from the earth? What monumental efforts go into bringing these vital resources from beneath our feet to the surface? How many stages are involved and what high-tech machinery and methods are used? Perhaps you've pondered what impact this extraction process has on our environment? Join us today as we delve into the fascinating world of oil and gas extraction. Oil and gas are hydrocarbons formed from the organic remains of prehistoric organisms. These ancient life forms, living millions upon millions of years ago, were eventually buried under layers of sediment. Over time, intense heat and pressure transformed these remains into the oil and gas we know today, rich in energy and hidden deep within the Earth's crust. Oil and gas are more than just fuels. They are vital cogs in the modern world's machine, powering our cars, heating our homes, and even contributing to the production of everyday items such as plastics, cosmetics, and clothes. It's astounding to think that the remnants of creatures long extinct are now integral to our day-to-day -day lives. Yet these valuable resources are not simply lying around waiting to be used. They are locked away beneath the surface of our planet requiring intricate and complex processes to extract. So, how do we get to them? Now let's dive into the extraction process. Extraction begins with exploration. Here's where the exciting journey of uncovering the Earth's hidden energy resources starts. It's like a grand treasure hunt, where the prize is a bounty of oil or gas that could power thousands of homes or fuel millions of cars. The first step of exploration is conducting geological surveys. Geologists play an essential role in this process. They study the Earth's surface, its structure, and the processes that have shaped it over billions of years. They seek evidence of past geological activity that might suggest the presence of oil or gas. This could be anything from rock formations to the presence of certain types of soil or vegetation. After gathering all this information, it's time to dive a bit deeper and conduct seismic testing. This involves creating shock waves which penetrate the Earth's crust and bounce back to the surface. The way these waves return gives scientists a sort of sonic snapshot of what lies beneath the ground. It's like taking an X-ray of the Earth, revealing layers of rock and potential oil or gas reservoirs. But seismic surveys can only tell us so much. To confirm the presence of oil or gas, we have to drill exploratory wells. This is a more invasive and expensive process, but it's the only way to be sure. It's like taking a sample from a cake before you buy it. Only in this case, the cake is several kilometers beneath the surface, and the sample could be worth millions, even billions of dollars. Exploratory drilling might reveal a wellspring of oil or gas, or it might hit a dry well, devoid of these precious resources. It's a high-stakes gamble but one that energy companies are willing to take. After all, the reward can be enormous. So, that's the exploration process in a nutshell. It's a complex, scientific, and risky endeavor, but one that's necessary to find the energy resources our world so heavily relies on. Once a potential deposit is located, the real work begins. Drilling is the next step in the extraction process. And it's not just poking a hole in the ground, there's a lot more to it. Let's begin with the drilling process itself. It starts with creating a hole, also known as a wellbore, deep into the earth. This is done using a drilling rig, a machine that's engineered to bore into the Earth's crust. Drilling rigs are impressive pieces of machinery and can range from small portable units to massive structures that tower over the landscape. They are equipped with a drill bit, a tool that does the actual cutting into the Earth. Now, the type of well that's drilled depends on the location and the expected amount of oil or gas. There are vertical wells, which are drilled straight down into the earth. Horizontal wells, on the other hand, start vertically, but then curve to run parallel to the oil or gas layer. This allows for greater access to the resource and is particularly useful when dealing with unconventional reservoirs. As the drilling continues, there's something else that's crucial to the process. Drilling fluids, also known as drilling mud. This isn't just your regular mud but a specialized concoction that serves several important purposes. It cools and lubricates the drill bit, helping it perform more efficiently and last longer. It also carries the cuttings, the bits of rock that are broken off by the drill bit, back to the surface. But perhaps most importantly, the drilling fluid helps maintain pressure at the bottom of the well, preventing any sudden influx of oil, gas, or water that could lead to a blowout. So, you see, drilling is a complex process that involves a lot more than just digging a hole. 
it requires careful planning, sophisticated machinery, and a deep understanding of the Earth's geology. After drilling, it's time for production. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's admire the science and engineering that goes into drilling, the crucial step that brings us closer to the oil and gas that power our world. Production is the process of extracting the oil and gas from the ground. And you may wonder how does this actually happen? Well, sit back and let's delve into the fascinating world of oil and gas production. The first thing to understand about production is that it's all about pressure. Our planet is a pressure cooker of sorts, with layers upon layers of rock and soil exerting immense pressure on the oil and gas deposits beneath. This natural pressure when released provides the initial thrust that pushes the oil and gas up through the well and to the surface. It's a bit like popping a champagne cork, only on a much larger and more controlled scale. However, as the reservoir's pressure declines over time, we need to give nature a helping hand. This is where pumps come into the picture. These mechanical marvels, also known as nodding donkeys, rhythmically rise and fall, creating a suction effect that draws the oil and gas up from the reservoir and towards the surface. Now, once the oil and gas reach the surface, they're not in a ready-to-use state. In fact, they're usually mixed with water and other substances, and this is where the separation process comes in. The mixture is passed through a series of separators, each designed to remove a specific component. The first to go is the gas, which is siphoned off and stored for later use or flared off as waste. Next, the water is removed, often being treated and reused in the extraction process. Finally, what remains is crude oil, a dark, thick liquid that is the raw material for countless products we use every day. So there you have it. From the deep recesses of the earth, through the complex mechanisms of pressure and pumps, to the intricate dance of separation, the production process is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to harness the natural resources of our planet. With the oil and gas now on the surface, there's one final step. So, hold on to your seats as we move into the final stretch of our journey. The final step in the extraction process is refinement and distribution. Once we've extracted the crude oil and raw gas from the Earth's depths, the real transformation begins. This is where the magic happens, turning these raw materials into the usable products that fuel our daily lives. The refinement process is a complex and sophisticated one involving several stages. First, the crude oil is distilled to separate it into different components based on their boiling points. This process is akin to brewing a pot of coffee, where the heat separates the coffee from the beans. The distillation process results in a variety of products, from gasoline and diesel to jet fuel and heating oil. The raw gas, on the other hand, undergoes a purification process. Here, impurities like water, carbon dioxide, and sulfur are removed. Once purified, the gas is chilled to a liquid state, making it easier to transport. This liquefied natural gas or LNG can then be shipped across the world in specialized tankers. After refinement, the products are ready for distribution. Pipelines, trucks, and ships transport these products to different parts of the world. Gasoline for your cars, heating oil for your homes, and jet fuel for your flights, they all come from this intricate process. The story of oil and gas is a tale of transformation, from raw natural resources to the refined products that power our world. It's a journey that starts deep underground and ends with the energy that fuels our lives. And that's how oil and gas make their journey from deep underground to you. So there you have it, the journey of oil and gas from the earth to your home. A journey that begins with exploration where we probe the depths of the earth, seeking out the rich reservoirs of these vital resources. Then, we move to drilling, where we puncture the earth's crust, reaching down into the hidden pockets of oil and gas. Production follows with the extraction of these resources being a meticulous process, ensuring we gather as much as possible while minimizing wastage. The final stage sees refinement and distribution, transforming the crude substances into the fuel that powers our lives and distributing it across the globe. It's a complex and intricate process, one that underscores the importance of these resources in our day-to-day -day lives. It's a process that brings to light the immense effort and technology that goes into providing us with the energy we often take for granted. Next time you fill up your car or turn up your heat, you'll know exactly what went into getting that energy to you.